Hello, I'm Carla the Fobbit and welcome back to Enshrouded. Today our big plan is to find a place that we can call home so that we can complete our next quest of putting down a second flame altar. Not sure what else is going to happen in between. It's probably just going to be one of those really quick hodgepodge videos. So let's get started. First, we're going to talk to the hunter, and what I want to know is, what does it take to make a drying rack? Ten wood logs, six string, oh, that is way easy enough. Wood logs. I think our string is over here, if I remember correctly. Yes, there it is. All right, let's get a drying rack made and set that bad boy out. Are we done here? This is the beginning to getting our backpack. Now, what do we need to do? Go into craft. Oh, dried purple berries. So they last longer, but don't regenerate as much health. I'm not sure if that's something we're going to do. Browse recipes. We have two of them. Dried fur. After drying the animal fur on the drying rack, it becomes sturdier and more durable for a longer period of time. So we need one fur, three salt. Alright, so I've got the salt and I've got some animal fur on me. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this thing work. Eat a craft, of course. So can we put... Just waiting for material. Can we just... Okay, there we go. Alright, we're on a roll. There we go. So, six of them are going to queue up. And it looks like it takes about seven minutes per. Alright, so that's going to take a little bit of time. I tell you what, we're just going to let that go. Once we get that into our inventory, then we'll see what we need, hopefully... To expand our backpack because I think once we pull that into the inventory it should give us the new recipe. Alright the next thing is I want to look at strengthening our flame and also we're supposed to go somewhere and build a new flame altar also. That's the next thing on our quest list actually. But in order to upgrade this uh oh I'm going to need to go and get some more salt because we need 10 salt. We need five spark. Oh, wow. And the scavenger matron head. I think that this right here may be in that cave that we saw. If I remember correctly, we found that cave that had the shroud mushroom or whatever it's called in there where we destroy it and it takes away some more shroud. I believe we saw that cave while we were exploring to get our first spark to do our first upgrade. So, now that we've done an upgrade, we may be able to get into that enshrouded area. It may not be the red enshrouded, the, the heavy enshroud. So, we may actually be able to get in there. Now, five spark, that is a lot. So, we actually came across another flame altar while we were out going to get I can't remember if it was the hunter or the alchemist it was on that area where we were looking out at the spire and I did not even pay attention until I edited that it said to collect anything from it so I did run back there before I started recording today and collected that but now I'm a little bit disappointed because I see that we need five. Oh, okay. Look at. So I guess that was seven minutes to do all six. So we have four dried fur. I'm going to take that small backpack. Okay. Hello, Hunter. How are you today? 
I would like to make something fantastic. There we go, a small backpack. So we need three torn cloth, four dried fur, and five string. Are we done here? Got it all already made. Yes. I can do it. So there we go. Equip that and it adds a whole nother row. Nice. Nice. That is that is a big deal. Thank you, ma'am. Let me put everything away and decide where we're going to go then. We're going to head out and we are going to see if we can find that cave that I think has a boss in it. And then also look for, since our next quest is to build another flame altar, maybe find a place that we might want to try taking over. Uh, the sad thing is we have seen so little of the map that I'm not sure where I want to go. That looks like maybe desert over in that direction. And there's another ancient spire over there. Okay, okay. And yeah, another one in the background. No, 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 no. That's not what we're focusing on. All right, we know there's a bad guy in here. Of course, I did come this way and kill him once today, but I would think he would have respawned by now. Well, maybe not. Okay, um... Guess it hasn't been long enough for him to respawn. So, let's take advantage of this chance. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, we can defeat the bees! I had no idea. Wow. Okay, that was scary. But it is good to know that, yeah, we can swing aimlessly and defeat bees, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that my only option with them was to run like a maniac. Ooh, more explosives. That probably... Uh-huh. Oh, that sheep kind of startled me a little. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't destroy that. We can search it without destroying. There we go. A little bit of scrap metal. Whoa. Are you guys... Oh, you guys are running from bees, too. They disturbed the bees, and now... Alright, are we done? Are we done here? So, I believe the direction we went was up this way. Let's go ahead so that we can run a little bit. We'll take a little drink of that. Oh. Oh, that's right, this camp. Okay, um, let's back up a little bit. And maybe we use a little bit of that. And one of these. I might use some magic. Who knows? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy hits pretty hard. Oh, wow. Look how cool his wolf looks with the collar on. Oh, that is very, very cool. Take all of that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, we'll just do a berry. That ought to... Food slot occupied. Okay. Bandage, then. That'll be fine. Let's see. I know there's at least one more guy in there I see him walking around.
You do go through arrows quickly, though. Oh. By the time I tabbed on him, he was gone. Alright, what else is in here? And this is the place that was booby-trapped. can't remember which pile it was. Uh, maybe it was the second one. So we're going to search, grab, grab, and run. Run, 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 run. Out of the... There we go. Now we didn't take any damage. We learned our lesson well. But wow, it did destroy just a little bit of everything, didn't it? Let's head up to this cave one thing at a time. And then we'll also go and check out that flame sanctum and see if... The spark renews itself. Ah, I think this is the path to the flame sanctum. The uh, That was the scavenger camp. So, well, there's a flame shrine there. Peaceful, peaceful acres. All right, anyway, you know, let's, let's stop chasing squirrels. See, it doesn't look red now. All right, it does not look red. So I think that when we strengthened our altar, you can't see a single thing in there though. You really, really can't. All right, let's 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 move around our backpack a little bit. Things that we're going to need. Um, we're going to put you there. And I'm going to want that axe. I am so nervous. Here we go, enshrouded. Yeah, there, there has got to be a boss in here. But yeah, um, strengthening our flame altar. Um, I do not see a boss, everybody. Which is disappointing because I wanted that head. But taking this down, nice. So ladies and gentlemen, there was no boss in there, but we did fight off another bit of the shroud. Do we get anything from that? I do not see anything special that we get from it. So, I was prepared for anything when I came up here. Um, I was hoping for a boss. I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping that we would get our head that we needed to... Upgrade our flame altar again. However, this was a bit anticlimactic, so let's see what kind of trouble we can get into to make this video a little bit more interesting. We are going to head over here to this flame altar. I'm pretty sure this is the right direction. It is the flame sanctum, pardon me, and um, see if we can get another spark from there. Hopefully, it regenerates. Aha, here it is, and I cannot remember if there were any bad guys in here or not. Um, I guess that would just add some, some drama. Ooh, that was a little startling. I will take your salt and... Oh, bandages, some bone meal. We'll take it all. All right, please. Let's see. Is there... Yes, so the spark does come back. I had to take a moment to let out my little poopy dogs. And it has gotten dark on me. So what I'm going to do is hunt around, try to find a bed to make it daylight. And also, see if I can find a location that we may want to set down our second 
flame altar. Some place that we want to turn into our permanent base. And then I'll bring you back in to show you what I've found. Oh, and did we... I'm, I'm so sorry. Did we get... We got one skill point earlier, so... I think I'm going to go with some constitution this time. Increases your constitution attribute by one. Increases health by 50 per attribute point. There we go. So, let's see. We've got four extra constitution so far. Two extra endurance. One more spirit. One strength. One dexterity. And one intelligence. Wow. Uh, this is almost like playing D&D. Where you're like, oh, I got a perk. And then the perk is like so tiny. But that means you appreciate what you earn all that much more. Ooh, what's what's that over the hill? Oh, nice. This could be home. Oh, wow, what's that next to it, though? That, that might look a little dangerous. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. What may or may not be our new home, but it is so centralized. I feel like it's perfect. As far as location, a little scary as far as everything else, but I think if we do some clearing out, wood guard. Not sure how many bad guys are here. All right, let's 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 create a little place in case something really bad happens. We should be able to respawn here. There. Hmm. Some fields, more houses over there. Let's see if we can learn a little bit about its history. A refuge. A small caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kindle Waste. A long journey. I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle. I dove into work, dressing the wounds, a battle for life and death even now. Sadly, some lost. We put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to the afterlife. There's one who might live despite it all. A deep leg wound, but maybe not too far gone. The wounded, Salim, smiles a lot. Says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. I mean, probably not the best neighborhood ever. <laughs> uh, catacombs underneath. Dead buried there. Oh, wait, wait. There's... But still... I feel like, doggone it, I feel like, there are way too many bees around here. My God, what are, what are you? Oh, um, okay, 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 um. You came out of there. Maybe the North Winds did not take the dead back to where they needed to be. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. Not looking as great as I thought. A new season. The new arrivals have wasted no time breaking ground, building something. Their determination is fanatical. A flame sanctum, Salim says. Some nights I've lingered near the caravan. Salim insists. Over the fire, 
They talk of their home, the sands, and the creeping ruin, so much sorrow. Salim says, I am like a daffodil, the first sign of spring. He is a fool, though a sweet one. So it sounds like we will not be the first to build a flame altar here. All right, it's getting dark. I will borrow one of these creepy beds and take a quick nap. Still a little dark, but we do have the sunrise coming up. Let's get... Oh, we do not want to fall down in there. I don't think that would be wise. Um, yeah, we're not going down there right now. Let's go over to the village area. Oh, sunrise. A very, very bad time for frame rates. Actually, you know, the frame rates are staying up at 60. It just looks a little choppy. So maybe, maybe not there. Maybe over in this area. Of course it's overrun with wolves. Why would it not be? Yeah, I. you know what? I think this is going to make a fantastic first home. I, we're going to do it. So first, let's reclaim it from these wolves. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think, hold on, I see a red glow, which means maybe another letter. There's a couple red, let's, let's look, let's be sure. Ah, uh, a cellar, yes, that's, is there a door? Oh. All right, let's first look for rats. I don't see anything. I buried it deep. They came in droves again yesterday. Sunburnt heathens. They twist and mangle their bodies every time they bow to their gods, their idols, the ancients. Too many mouths to feed. They only want alms. I'd send them back to the Kindle Waste. They won't fool me. I buried my treasure in the fenced lot underneath a small shelter, not far from here. They won't find it when it's hidden beneath the mud. Tonight, I'll sleep deeply. All right, so it sounds like not everybody in this little village was happy about the people that came from what it sounds like is the desert, according to that last note. But that was a hint at some buried treasure, so... A sheltered here. Ooh, in the mud. Oh my gosh! Look at my feet. <laughs> Look at them. Oh wait, what button is it? Is it Z? Yes. Oh, look at my feet being caked with mud. That is hilarious. All right, so we finally. Well, we don't have to dig. I guess we do, maybe a little. All right, now we can open it, but just in case bad things happen. Let's go ahead and pull out our weapon. Ornate wood bow. Oh. Increases backstab damage, increases critical hit chances. This is fantastic, but I am willing to bet that our backpack is full. What are we going to sacrifice for this? I am thinking those. Mm. 
Nice. So now, right now, our current bow is 10 power. This one's only 7. But once we beef it up, it is going to be insane. This is it. Let's commit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to end today's video. As the sun rises over our brand new home. When we come back next time, we're going to find the farmer. And then I think we're going to start seeing what we can make of this beautiful location on the map. I think it's going to be great. Have a lot of things in mind. I hope that all of you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.